everyone, this is Eva Christofferson with the Quantum Astrology Report for uh, the week from the 4th of November to Saturday 4th of November to Friday the 10th of November 2017. Uh, with emphasis of the full moon, the 4th of uh, November here in Europe, Sweden, Central European time, 6 23 a.m. And the sun there will be at 11 degrees 59 minutes and the moon 11 degrees in Scorpio and the moon 11 degrees 59 minutes in Taurus. So it's the full moon in Taurus, the quantum worth, wealth, beauty ruled by Venus. The seed is growing. Uh, the seed of the new rising from the ashes, the phoenix, symbolism of Scorpio. We also have a very interesting opposition, Uranus opposite Venus. Uranus retrograde bringing the codes uh, from other realities, from Andromeda galaxy. And in the quantum I am, we're shaping our own reality areas. And it's on the minute, direct opposition to the quantum love planet Venus, unconditional love. Also in conjunction with the fixed star speaker and Arcturus. And Arcturus is so involved in this freeing of humanity from the Anunnakis electromagnetic healing it's Arcturus the fixed star planets around there is the entry point for our soul coming here to earth and also the exit when we leave if we're not stuck in the fourth dimensional world but we are not we are freeing ourselves from those set an intention for your death that you will go through love to meet your relatives and if they are stuck in other dimensions to continue to the love of your own soul evolution. Uh, the 4th of November we also have uh, Saturn at galactic center in a sextile and trine to Venus and Uranus and we have uh, we have the North Node in conjunction with the event, the full moon 10th house. So realize it's an amplification of us stepping into our Royal Leo uh, mission here, Starseed mission if you are such. And I believe many are that listen to this. Uh, we also have Neptune, the quantum spirit planet retrograde in Pisces, revealing the illusions in a trine and sextile to the sun-moon opposition, the full moon. There's a connection with the quantum spirit inside us, uh, dreaming, you sleep well, dream, and use that for healing. We have Chiron, the, quant the wounded healer, in a direct square to Saturn, really testing and also giving our reality a deepened healing about our spiritual wound. And after the full moon, the moon will go come at late Taurus, conjunct uh, the asteroid. Isis, the Egyptian queen, and Osiris is in early areas, the king of the underworld, the Scorpio ruler together with Mars and Pluto. And Isis, that is directly on Pleiades, uh, our parents, a cosmic origin. And it's at the full moon and some days after. It's a direct opposition between Isis and Mercury taught at late Scorpio, giving us a an, an new origin uh, realization with 
with our mind, our quantum computer. Then Mercury will go into Sagittarius the 6th of November, Monday, and uh, leaving Scorpio for the quantum knowledge, wisdom of Sagittarius ruled by Jupiter, that is Jupiter is in Scorpio in conjunction with the Sun. And the Moon will continue through Gemini coming into Cancer next week and coming into an opposition with Pluto and uh, that can be very emotional but also very rewarding. So I'm putting a lot of effort now into my Swedish introduction of quantum astrology in Swedish. So I take this a little shorter report. Uh, but I have expanded to quantum numerology. I plan to do a, a short video about my quantum numerology. I give readings in quantum numerology for you uh, together 30 minutes on Zoom or Skype together with quantum astrology and a short written report for that one. And I have a sale on all my readings, 40% off until the 11th of November. And there's the Starseed reading that I'm so burning for, but it's a big work to do, so it's more expensive. But it's 40% off of that one, and I also have Natal Progressive Draconic Chart readings. So contact me, see details below if you're interested, and uh, use your time for this full moon and the coming week. I will draw a card from my newly found quantum tarot. It's a magic connection to bring in this quantum world of quantum physics in all uh, these areas, astrology, tarot and numerology. So. I will draw a card for the full moon. Perhaps I shouldn't. I can show it like this. I can't see the card. Even though perhaps you can, but I can't see it. So we take this one. It's the one of cups here. One of cups. You see the symbol there, and I will check the interpretation. It's uh, Ace of Cups, and that's Graviton. The Ace of Cups signifies an upsurge of love and compassion, opening of the heart. What is awakening your love? Ace of Cups, the Graviton. The Graviton is the gravity uh, particle. Just found in an in experiment predicted by Einstein. Uh, love and compassion, the opening of the heart. That's the Venus at Actorus, opposition Uranus, and the North Node in Leo in connection with the 10th house at the full moon. What is awakening your love? My love is in this mission for my star seed here on earth and to doing it also in Swedish. Bye bye and take care.